All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So um, I made a video a long time ago um, called uh, Classic WoW Paladin Leveling Guide slash Findings. This was an anticipation for a Season of Mastery coming out. I wanted to figure out, like, you know, uh, the actual best way for Paladins to level, blah, 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 blah. You know, take, take my stab at it. And it ends up being a very long video, like an hour long, where basically I, I spent a lot of time actually proving and showcasing um, along with Dracova, that's Rosita there, that's Dracova, um, <clears throat> actually showcasing my theory as opposed to just like vomiting it out and uh, hoping you guys believe me. But basically my theory boils down to the stuff that we see here, um, which is, uh, da, 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 what is it? Ah, so it's basically saying that stamina intellect gear is actually by far the best gear to, to level your paladin with. And that includes from, like, the word go. I'm talking, like, you're, you're level 20 and you're wearing stamina intellect gear, and I'm not joking. So, um, especially with uh, fast two-handers, and what you do, what we'll, we'll show it in a second, but what you do is you judge um, SOR, um, because uh, rank 3 SOR has a massive spell power ratio. Um, there's all these uh, fast uh, blue two-handers in the auction house, usually. Um, that nobody wants because they're fast two-handers, but they actually end up being uh, um, Giga Chad if you have the uh, the stamina and intellect gear build. And uh, as you can see down here, the, the, the time to kill with the uh, stamina and intellect one-hander is not all that bad either, and it gets a lot better if you're doing it against two mobs. Um, so that's the whole gist of, of this hour-long video, basically uh, me showcasing and proving that. All right, so I'll get the heck out of here. Um, all right, so I actually still have uh, Test Pally that I used in this video with the exact same gear practically um, and at, at around about the same level. So we're going to show him in a second. <clears throat> yeah, that's what they forced me to change my name to. My name's Convictions now as opposed to uh, Pally Time. Kind of sucks. Um, yeah, so we're going to showcase this um, actually in World. And I want... If I was going to play Hardcore, I would definitely do the whole Stamina Intellect gear thing. Um, and I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna show you why. Oh my goodness, why am I back here? That's so bad. Alright, whatever. Get a move on. Alright, so, uh, what's awesome about this guy? Uh, well, what, what the, the findings of that video basically say, uh, stuff like, if you go, like, stamina strength gear, and you can check this out in, um, uh, like the wow head, uh, gear planner type thing. But if you're like strength stamina gear, oh, I should mention that Dracova's leveling strategy is he, he wears uh, of the tiger gear. He goes strength, agility, and he doesn't really quest. He just kills mobs one at a time and kind of spaces out while watching Netflix or something. And that honestly is probably a really good leveling strategy, but uh, probably not something you want to do for hardcore. Um, that's primarily what this video is on. But if you... What the hell? <clears throat> if you as a paladin... Jesus, that's kind of freaky. Um, what the hell was I saying? Stamina, intellect, gear. Da, 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 da. Right, so if you're uh, strength stamina, you end up doing like 20% more damage from the strength. Um, however, when you uh, put on like stamina, intellect, gear, I guess I can show the gear I have on right now. don't have, uh, yeah. But everything else here is strength stamina. Some of it is leather because I found it really difficult to find um, uh, male uh, stamina, intellect, gear. Uh, but then I put like little reinforcements on it and stuff to try to compensate for, for testing back in the day. But you can see everything here is like intellect or strength, uh, stamina, intellect, stamina, intellect, stamina, intellect. When you put on a, a ton of stamina, intellect gear and searing blade here is one of those really, uh, one of those fast two handers that I was talking about. Uh, also, um, if you look up all the fast two handers, um, in the game while you're leveling, they almost always have some kind of proc on hit effect, which just, just makes it even better. Um... Yeah, if you're wearing stamina intellect gear, you end up having something stupid like a 120% a increase in your mana. And I guess I can show that right now by just stripping all the gear off. Alright, so just just watch the mana bar change. It's, it's actually kind of terrifying, I'm not going to lie. Oh damn, I don't have any mage water anymore. That might make things interesting. Uh, ooh, hello. sec here. Give him a gold for his troubles. Alright, so, um, yeah, you can see that, okay, so just, just watch, 
Watch the health mana bar. Let, let, let him give me some water first. And uh, we'll, we'll do this thing. Uh, I'm, I'm good, bro. I don't need a million. He's going to think I need a million. All right, cool. We're good. What the fudge? Oh, yeah, here's the water. Okay. All right, cool. So watch me put back on my gear. <laughs> this is going to be so stupid. Watch, the, watch this blue bar up here. Watch this crap. This is what I mean by it's like 120%. Yeah, so you can see that's not bad, bro. You didn't give me imp buff? All right, whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, all right, so let's get on. So there's a few major issues with... Maybe I should turn the volume down a little bit. System, sound, master volume, down to maybe 10. Sure. Okay, cool. So one of the... Um, now, it's going to sound like an issue, but it's really not an issue, and I'll show you the, the, the issue real fast here as I try to... as I attempt to run out of mana. Give me a sec here. All right, so the issue is, uh, watch me try to drink. So if you know anything about stamina and liquor as Paladin, you can actually drink for the full 30 seconds and it won't fill up your mana bar. But for hardcore, this is actually a really good thing, believe it or not, because what it means is that you don't waste any of, of, of your, well, your, your mana drink, and you're always going to have something like 30% of your intellect bar to play with um, before you sit down and drink, which is kind of nice. Okay, cool. So I think uh, mine's like 75 or something right now, but like I said before, those whole that, that whole uh, my time uh, uh, my time on target to kill and stuff is is pretty um, even with um, with like a really good weapon, seal of command paladin that a lot of people go with, um, and we're gonna kind of showcase that right now. One sec, let me get all my stuff here. Come here, Sparky. Yeah, okay, we're good. He's good. He's good. more time judge him dead all right cool next target but you can see just how little damage they do to you <clears throat> i can showcase the the one-hander and the two-hander pretty soon here but i just want to uh i just want to showcase how tanky this is um where the hell are all the mobs you guys are just psychotic out here aren't you oh it's it's the damn mages there's some mages running around here aoe farming oh well <clears throat> He should be back. Okay, so there's really two ways to do it. Um, again, I was like in that hour-long video. Let me pause for a second. Oh, shit, let's not pause here. I need to cough. That's what's going on. I guess I can cover my mic. <coughs> Damn it. I just woke up, so, you know, talking, fun. All right, so there's basically two ways to do it when you attack something. Uh, you can do it this way which is you don't use consecration at all. <clears throat> and you'll see that the time on, on the time to kill goes down, but look at these mana bars and these health bars. It, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Seriously? Thank you. Yeah, so you can see mana doesn't really go down. Health goes down a little bit. It's actually kind of gross. <laughs> uh, I'll showcase the, the one-handers. Right, so this is kind of how I like to do, like, single targets. Um, you can Consecrate to speed it up, but it's not super necessary for the single targets. Uh, consecrating is more for, like, the, 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 the two targets, if that makes any sense. All right, let's uh, showcase uh, Sword and Board by comparison. Sword and Board is just going to be a shield with a little rinky-dink iron shield spike. And then, uh, yeah. Um, you want fast one-handers, I'll talk about that in a second. You should know that as a paladin, but give it a sec. Alright, so, yeah, I want to show you this real fast. Okay, okay. So, watch Seal of Righteousness <clears throat> just on its own. Are we good? Oh, that was the shield block, okay. So, you see it's doing, like, 7 to 6.5 damage, maybe a little bit more than that. It's absolutely pathetic. But you put on um, Judgment of the Crusader, and even at this low level, it increases damage on the target by 10. And this is regardless of weapon speed, basically. What? Oh, okay. This is regardless of weapon speed. So the faster the weapon, the better. That's basically how... Uh, see, ooh, ooh, okay. I, um, I'm going to show you how to deal with two targets. All right, so this is the strategy for two targets. Well, if you're sword and board, you want this. Time out. All right, so... Do I want to actually showcase the real... I think I do. Tab target, put another um, Crusader on that, and you just keep tag targeting between the two. So hit him, now tab target over, hit him, tab target over, hit him. Parried, take note of that. Do another Consecrate. 
seriously? Judge him dead, and we'll stun him. You can see it's really hard on the mana bar, though, so I don't much care for it. But it's something that you can do. All right, we're going to do a Holy Light, and we're going to do a drink. So I'm not sure that's worth it. Uh, the single target might be better. Um, really hurts your mana bar. Um, but then again, I'm wearing, like, you know, pieces of leather and crap. I think my, my armor is terrible, yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, Consecration is actually a pretty good single target if you want to speed it up for some reason. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to. Um, but yeah, sword and board. What am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that this paladin is actually a bit of a monster. Um, especially with the whole single target stuff. Oh, right. I wanted to showcase that. I guess I can't, can I? Oh, well, whatever. Come here. How much mana is stunned right now? 30? That's not so bad. All right, I want to show SOR without... Um, so it's this 20% ratio on this thing. So you can see it's 14. I think it's 26 if I do um, Crusader. Is that right? Yeah, about 26. Should be 26 here. Really? Okay. Twenty-six. Yeah, so two-handed weapons with a Seal of Righteousness get 20% of your spell power ratio. Regardless of weapon speed. Um, this is only for rank 3 uh, Seal of Righteousness, however. So, um, all the other ranks have uh, uh, minus 5% compared to that. So, for example, um, eh, I can actually showcase that, I guess, real fast here. These are things that you should know, but if you don't know, fine, whatever. Uh, we'll use uh, rank 2. Um, it should do almost the exact same amount of damage as Seal as rank 3 because of... Uh, I forget what it's called, but it scales with your level to a point and then stops. So if you recall, it was doing like 14. Uh, that's, that's 9. Okay. So you see it does significantly less damage here. 24. That's not so bad. Huh. That's weird. Oh, it's cause, is it because it's scaling? What the hell was that? Whoa, did they stealth change something? I didn't notice. 24. That's not right. Alright, let it fall off. It was 9 before. Oh, I'm using rank 3 like a dumbass. My bad. There we go. There's the there's the ratio. Okay, 16. It's dog shit. Roger that. Let it fall off. We'll hit him again. We'll see what's up. Okay, let's do the bad one. Come on. Okay. Mm-hmm. 10. Okay, so it goes from 10 to 16 at like a 50 power, uh, 50 point spell power ratio. Because my current um, Seal of the Crusader adds 50 um, spell damage. Um, and this thing uh, should have 15% spell power ratio um, because it's not rank 3, it's rank 2. Get rid of that. Ugh. But yeah, your rank 3 has 5% more spell power than normal. So what this means is that one-handers, I guess I can uh, log on over to my main, um, one-handers... Uh, I might not want to be here. Uh, all right. Um, one-handers have 15% uh, spell power ratio regardless of weapon speed with rank 3. And then two-handers have 20% uh, spell power ratio regardless of weapon speed at, also at, at rank 3, SOR. Um, but then everything else is like 5% less. So one-handers are like 10% and then two-handers are, are like 15%. And at certain spell power ratios, um, rank 3 just starts outscaling everything, basically. And we can showcase that here in a second. Get some, uh, remove my rank 3 gear, put on full judgment, should be good. Get rid of some of these stupid trinkets. Mark of the Chosen is actually growing on me, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I have videos on this. But I want to I want to show you guys what it's like in like full full bloom kind of a thing. Uh, hmm. What? Where's my? Oh, it's in the bank. Okay, whatever. Um, we'll put on Flurryax because Flurryax is the best one-handed weapon in the game, other than Edward the Odd. And we're gonna find something to smack. Eventually. 
think if I go up into the hills... Oh, well, whatever. Uh, rank 6, 127. Alright, cool. Get off. Come on. Be good. Alright, so... We're gonna do rank 3, normal circumstance. Uh, yeah, thank you. 55, roger that. Now we're gonna put on, like, this is like plus, yeah, 55 is like 180 something. Activate our trinket here. 124. And that's with rank 3. And if I tried it with uh, any other rank, <clears throat> so it was like 80, 80 something, right? Let's try a different rank. We'll try max rank. Yeah, okay, actually, I got it on my bar right here. Alright, let's try a max rank. All right, this is max rank SOR. 65! All right, watch this, rank three. 86! <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, was that three auto attacks from, yeah, Flurry Axe and one? That's funny. All right. So, um... <laughs> the moral of the story is I'm really digging the, uh, the stamina intellect gear on the Paladin because um, not only is it a lot safer for you to be out in the world with this absolutely ridiculous mana bar as a paladin. Um, but it's um, also it's also really good in a, from a time to target um, uh, kill perspective. And it synergizes extremely well with even bad gear. Because it's primarily um, a spell power based build as opposed to like a more gear dependent like two hander based build. All you care about is the speed of your weapon. You want the fastest two hander or the fastest one hander possible, and that's about it. Um, like literally, that, that, that's all there is to it. Um, super hard to kill unless you're absolutely in, uh, crazy. Um, as you saw from me attacking those those two mobs at the same time, you're actually disincentivized with this build to attack more than a single mob at a time. Okay, we're gonna do one. We're gonna do a little front load action here. What the fuck? No! You're not behind- oh, Maybe just gouge you out. Fine, whatever. Anyways. Do do do. Right, so I love the Paladin build. Uh, Stamina looks like, alright, so we need to talk about um, talent progression, but you could watch the hour-long video for that if you want. But basically, when you're leveling, um, go down and pick up Consecration, and then immediately come back over and, and start getting your readout on. Um, once you have your readout um, going in full, like you have 5 out of 5 readout, Sword and Board is going to become much better with Iron Shield Spike. Um, when you hit level 35, um, I do believe it's level 3rd, no, 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 da, 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 da. Uh, 20 points, that'd be level 30. Yeah. When you hit level 31, uh, you're going to want to do a weird thing. You're going to want to do this weird thing. Uh, you're going to want to seriously consider respecking at level 30, um, uh, 1 specifically. And you're going to put all your talent points in prot because Blessing a Sanctuary becomes available at level, uh, 31. Actually, I think it's level 30, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But as soon as, uh, Blessing a Sanctuary becomes available, you want to get it immediately. Um, the reason for this is because it ends up being uh, it ends up being an even better buff for like AOE tanking than consecration, and just about any guide worth its salt will 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 basically point this out that your your AOE farming comes online not when you get a, a consecration, but when you get um, blessing a sanctuary. The whole reason why we have consecration in this build is you know to allow uh, uh, like at this low level is to number one it's to allow us to even um, uh, be able to, 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 to deal with multiple mobs at once in case things go, go bad or just in case we want to or need to for a quest or something like that. Um, but more importantly, what, it, what it's really doing is um, it's giving us a spell that we can turn our mana into DPS in a front-loaded manner. Okay, so yeah, so basically you do one Consecration and then you stop... Let's watch the mana and health bar here as I attempt to kill this jerk off who doesn't want to die for some reason. Alright, cool. So you can see our mana bar went down a little bit, like a, a, maybe about 6%. Um, about 10% when you're done healing yourself. Not that big of a deal, but it does allow us to convert um, our mana into damage, which is kind of a, a big deal. Um, because as you saw, otherwise we, we, we just don't, we, we, we don't lose mana. Um, it's an option too, of course, is th this like infinite sustain kind of a thing. 
Option three, of course, is that you find your blessing of might, and um, you you do what I'm doing now, but you use blessing of might rather than rather than blessing of wisdom. What the fudge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have all my mana back. Thank you. Go away now. All right, cool. Yep. So this stupid little infinite sustain thing going on. All right, let's try a blessing of might. See what that looks like. Not a big fan of blessing of might, um, but it's fine, I guess. How about all the mobs? Okay. Level 20? Eh. All right, fine, whatever. Check out the sustain with this thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, the other great thing about the fast two-handers is one thing that will get you in major trouble when you're playing hardcore with these slow two-handers is just, like, missing and dodges and parries out the wazoo. Like, you desperately need the target to die, and it's just, it's really bad, so. Fast 200 is pretty good for that. Alright, what the hell else do I want to talk about here? The whole infinite sustain type thing. Alright, we're talking about talents. Right, so, um, the whole reason you have Consecration is purely so you can do AoE if you need to. Um, you can tank for dungeons if you need to. You're a great healer in dungeons. It's just you're just a, an amazing build. Um, you can do multiple targets if you have to. Like if 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 you're doing the the, the two hander thing. Uh, that's right. I don't want to test it again. So if you're uh, if you're out here doing the two hander thing, <clears throat> and all of a sudden like more mobs start joining the party, Let's see if I can replicate this. You can uh, swap the sword and board real quick. Actually, cool, bro. I don't need help. I'm actually good. Ooh, he's got it too. Nice. Hmm, I'm curious. Is he going to like here as well? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> I can tell if he heals or something. Yeah. A little low. I don't know. He did a consecration. Hmm. Oh, it's going up too fast for him to have stam intellect gear. Yeah. I don't like it. See mine by comparison. Nah! <laughs> that is funny. Right, so you have sword and board if you have to, if you need it. Not that big of a deal. Um, right, so uh, it, just about any guide worth its salt is going to tell you that Blessing a Sanctuary is the way to go once it becomes available. It's just so much better for um, AoE farming and AoE tanking. Um, part of the reason for that is because um, Seal of Light becomes available at the time. And uh, I, I cover this in detail in, in, in the longer version of the guide, but uh, yeah. And then, of course, you have Reckoning um, starts becoming a thing. And um, <clears throat> uh, one-handed weapon specialization is interesting. Dracova was telling me some stuff about this. Um, it does what it says on the tin. It says increase the damage you deal with one-handed melee weapons by... Okay, actually, it doesn't do what it says on the tin. Um, this <clears throat> ability... One-handed weapon specialization. What it actually does in reality is it increases all the damage you deal by 10% while you have a one-handed weapon equipped. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Which means your consecrations do 10% more damage, your reflex do 10% more damage, everything does 10% more damage when you have a one-handed weapon equipped. I could be wrong about that. I know for a fact that it increases your judgment damage by 10%, and I think it increases just about every piece of damage you do by by 10%. Kind of a big thing, especially when you go down here to Prot. Um, you haven't quite, uh, you don't have enough talent points to pick up Consecration yet. Um, what you do is you put one point here, put four points in Reckoning, and then you start putting uh, points into Weapon Specialization. Um, once you have enough points, uh, you respec again, and you get your, uh, I think it's level 42. You have enough points to get both Consecration and Blessing of Sanctuary. And level 42 is also when you get uh, Seal of Wisdom. So uh, that's when your AoE tanking uh, really comes on. And that's when just about every Paladin and its dog, uh, unless you're like doing something stupid, especially in Hardcore, like something really stupid, um, you'd want to have Stamina Intellect Gear anyways. 
The other thing to note is that stamina intellect gear might it might and usually is very difficult to find um, on the auction house for paladin like male stamina intellect gear like gear of the eagle like literally search of the eagle gear like click like um, uh, male and then search of the eagle gear on the auction house I'm not really sure I can do that I'll show you guys how to search for crap lol. Hmm. Alright, so what you would do <clears throat> Go to the auction house uh, Go armor, go mail And then type in here Of the eagle Click search And it should pop up mail of the eagle gear only Yeah, so we're good to go Ooh, I could actually change out my chest For some mail on my test pally That's kind of cool Might have to do that Hmm Right. <clears throat> so, it's actually going to be kind of hard for you to find Mail of the Eagle gear, believe it or not. Um, even though, I imagine it'll be a lot better in Hardcore, because it, it's actually really, really good for uh, for everything for Paladin on Hardcore. Um, but, my advice for getting of the Eagle gear would be that when you enter a zone for the first time, like you're level 16, you're going into like a Red Ridge, or you're like um, level 20-something uh, and you're going into Darkshore... Um, just keep typing in chat periodically that you're looking for mail of the Eagle gear and you're willing to pay for it. Um, and that should gear you out pretty good because as we all know, when you find greens out in the wild, you'll be like level 25 and it'll be dropping like, um, the level 25 mobs drop like level 20, uh, green items, right? So the best thing for you to do is that the moment you hit a new zone, start hitting up people for, of the Eagle gear. That, that would basically be my, uh, my suggestion. Um, but yeah, let me show you some of the, let me show you some of the, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever noticed this, if you ever searched for like fast two-handers or, or anything like that. Uh, let's go out, oh, seriously? Why do I have to scroll all the way down before I can click next? Here's the Searing Blade, seven gold. It, it, everyone hates it because, you know, um, it's, it's just too fast of a two-handed weapon. Nobody wants the damn thing. Uh, go out here too, like a 2.9 de defense and armor weapon. That's actually pretty damn good, believe it or not. Um, you keep scrolling down, you'll get, like, uh, okay, these are actually expensive, because they, uh, yeah, they got some stats and stuff on them. Um, two-hander, this one's also considered terrible, but actually is not that bad, um, for level 26. Uh, da-da-da, uh, this one, I forget, yeah, okay, more armor and defense, sword of the magistrate. This one, people love slash hate. Um, Nightblade, I remember, is very, very notorious for being cheap. Um, it's a, also a fast two-hander with a, a proc on hit. Um, fast one-handers are a little bit different. Um, Speed Steel comes to mind. Uh, one of my favorites. Face Smasher, yeah, 2.6 is terrible. Skeleton Club, 2.6 is terrible. Um, speed matters. Um, the fastest one-hander possible um, is 1.6. And the only weapons that get faster than 1.6 are things like Flurry Axe. <coughs> at 1.5 uh, for a paladin but yeah so these blues even though they're blue are terrible because that they're they're too slow for this build um, this two weapon speed is is awful I, I wouldn't suggest it and you can calculate that by by looking at some simple stuff like um, like you look at the weapon you'll see okay it does 17 damage you compare it to like a contemporary that's not okay this is a good 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 contrast um yeah, so this level 26 is like almost 20 uh, DPS, and this is 16, so it, it does four more DPS, right? Um, then you factor in armor, and, and after you factor in armor, it probably only does like uh, three more DPS. Well, let's say this weapon here, by comparison, uh, was one point like six speed mace, um, which they do exist. I swear they exist. 1.8 is very common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 1.6. Come on. It's usually the swords that are really fast. At the low levels. It's really weird. Alright, one second. One-handed swords. And we were comparing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. One-handed swords. 1.9. Come on. Show me a speedy boy. Whatever. Anyway, let's say it's 1.6, right? Um, well, you're, do you're getting that spell power ratio off. And you can very easily calculate which one is actually going to do more damage for you. Is it going to be the the fast one-hander, or is it going to be the um, the the slower one-hander? 
that's blue. Most of the time, it's going to be the fast one-hander, just because it scales with your spell power ratio. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite ones, the the tainted uh, pierce. But even that's kind of fat, uh, slow for a two-hander. But it's blue, so you know, figure the factor that in, I guess. Come on, show me a speedy boy. Blade of the Basilisk. What the hell? Okay, interesting. Oh my goodness, 1.5. Fuck yes, gimme, give gimme. Give Holy shit. That's terrifying. Yo, know, one, uh, yeah, anything 1.5? Holy crap, sign me up for that. Um, why is this? <laughs> well, let's pull out the calculator. Um, do we have a contemporary blue that we can compare this to? A 33 blue. Hmm. All right, we'll compare it to something even better. Ooh, this is actually 9,000 Ts. Um, so we're going to compare this 1.5 speed weapon <clears throat> to this 2.4 speed weapon, even though it's a level above and it's blue. And we're going to actually uh, try to figure out how much damage it does. At this level of 34, your Judgment of the Crusader is probably doing about 80 holy damage. Uh, yeah, we'll just do the math on that. So we're going to figure out which one of the two weapons is better. Um, this one's doing about 20 DPS, and this one is doing, we'll say, 26 DPS to try to bring it in line with a level 33 uh, blue weapon. So I'm ignoring the point three from this, and I'm ignoring the, the point yeah, even more from that. So we're going to say this is 26, and we're going to say that this is 20 DPS. So this thing has six more DPS and a proc on hit, which is kind of uh, nature damage. And, nah, it's not that, not that relevant. Okay, but check this shit out. So... One of these guys is going to do uh, times is going to do 15% of his spell power ratio. He's going to do an extra 12 DP, uh, 12 damage a hit. Um, we're going to divide that by 1.5, and it should give us eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, when I judge Crusader on the target, this super fast one-handed weapon is going to uh, generate eight more DPS from Judgment, uh, eight DPS from Judgment of the Crusader. Um, I compare that to this uh, piece of crud over here, which uh, we did say, right, so that would be like 8 plus, um, oh god, I gotta factor in armor, don't I? So the weapon itself is doing 20 DPS. Um, that's not including stats, we'll ignore the stats. Um, honestly, you want an of the eagle blade, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Of the eagle, of the eagle, of the eagle, of the eagle, no, 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 of power? Yeah, no of the eagle, boo. Alright, so it does 20 DPS. But then you have to factor in armor. Most mobs have like 30% armor. Fuck off. Clear. Go away. 20 times 0.7 equals plus 8 equals. So that's the total DPS HP damage to the target. Uh, basically, the spell damage gets a, a hidden 30% uh, damage bonus because it's ignoring armor, right? So this weapon is going to do uh, about 22 DPS for me. Let's compare it to the other one. We said the other one was uh, 25, right? Uh, better to bring it in line. Let me think. And we're saying this is 20. No, we're saying, saying this is 26. Okay, cool. Um, 26. Uh, times 0.7 equals, so it's like 18.2. Cool, we'll come back to that later. Um, 80 times 1.5. That's our, our, our rank 3, so it does 12. But I have to multiply it by this slow-ass weapon speed. So it'll be time... No, divided, clear... Clear 12 divided by 2.4 because of your stupid, horrifyingly slow weapon speed equals. So this is only gaining a five percent from judgment of the of uh, five damage from judgment of the crusader. If I recall, we're adding like 18.2 to that. Yeah. So you can see this weapon is barely, barely outperforming in DPS compared to the other one. It's it's got like one point. Uh, yeah. And on top of that, I might be over-exaggerating how much DPS it's actually doing, because I said this is 20, and I said this is... Uh, it's got a level on it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so it becomes very easy for you to calculate that. The blue weapons are good, but generally speaking, just getting yourself a nice, sweet, fast one-hander is the way to go. And uh, the fast two-handers are in the same ballpark. Um, let's see here. Two-handed swords. Search... Try to find a speedy boy at level, round about level 36. No, 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 no. But we can calculate as if it was a, a, a speedy boy. Okay, here we go. Bone Slasher. Not half bad at, at 2.27. Um, 
It's also got stats. Kind of expensive because people want the damn thing. But 36? Alright, let's calculate that real fast. Alright, let's say for the sake of argument that this uh, speedy boy sword here, um, the, the sword that is not speedy, uh, was in fact a speedy sword. So we're going to give it this DPS, but we're going to give it uh, Bone Lasher's speed at about 2.6. 2.6 is a really fast two-hander. 2.5 uh, um, 2 is the fastest two-hander possible outside of um, some really weird um, exceptions. Which are like two second speeds, which is like, what the hell? But you almost never see that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and the green ones are also tend to be quite quick. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I think the axes are the quickest. Yeah, look at this shit. 2.4, what the fuck? 2.4 green. Holy crap. That is, that is amazing. Okay, let's, 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 let's compare. What the fudge, man? Sword of the Magistrate, 36, and then I go up two levels, and I get a, 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 a speedy boy green. Okay, we're going to compare these two. I'm actually curious. Oh, whoa, 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 time out. This is the speedy boy, too. Okay, yeah, we can do this. Okay, so we're going to compare this Sword of the Magistrate to this uh, uh, Gut Render, right? Because um, the Gut Render is a speedy boy. Um... But yeah, instead I'm going to give it this 2.24 because I'm curious. Gut render. Da, 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 da. What the hell was I trying to say? We can just compare the two. It's going to be the same math. The, the gut render is going to be slightly better, I think. Eh, whatever, we'll do it. All right, so at around about this level, you probably, uh, it's still, what, plus 80? Something like that? Yeah. So, um... <clears throat> So it's going to be 80 times 0.2, because uh, it's a 2 ender, so it has 20% spell power ratio. And then we need to divide it by this retarded-ass slow weapon speed, 3.3. Um, okay, so it's it's not even adding 5. I mean, the, the one-hander was adding 5. This this thing at 20% ratio is um, 4.85. Okay. Um, its DPS is 36.5. 36.5. Um, times 0.7 equals, that's factoring in armor, and then we add 4.85. So this weapon would be doing a whopping uh, 30.4 HP DPS. All right, let's do the uh, Speedy Boy, which we could get much cheaper um, on the auction house. And it has a chance on hit to wound the tar- what the fuck, man? Holy crap. That is amazing. Do you have anything great for me? Just amazing stats of the eagle? Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. How are you? I see you. You're beautiful. Look at you. You're gorgeous. Yeah, he has stats, and you have this proc on hit. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm done gushing. This is actually pretty pretty good. Okay. Um, 30 times 0.7 equals, so it's doing a 21 DPS just on its own. Um, then we need 80 times 0.2, um, but we're dividing it by 0.26. No, 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 no. Divide by 2.6. There we go. All right, so this guy adds 6.15 to his, like, 22 plus 22, if I recall correctly. Uh, da, 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 30 minus 0.3, which would be 9. It should be the 21. 6.15, whatever. 6.15. 30 times 0.7 equals, yeah, that's what I thought. Plus 6.15. Okay, so... If I recall correctly, this guy was doing like 30-something. Okay, so this guy is doing 27.15. This guy over here was um, 30, 36.5 times 0.7 equals plus 4.85 or something like that equals. So homie here is doing 30, and the other guy is doing... Uh, 21 plus 6.15. 30 compared to... Okay, yeah. So the blue weapon is doing a whopping 3.5 more uh, HP DPS. And I would also point out that this thing has a proc on hit that is just a massive DPS increaser. Um, so honestly, these two weapons are probably identical in their, in their DPS output. If not, this stupid green weapon is actually superior. Um, and this is actually a really big deal for hardcore if you stop and think about it, right? 
What the fuck? Improve your chance to get a critical strike by 1%. Launches a bolt of frost at the enemy, causing 20 frost damage and slowing movement speed by 5 seconds. 3.40? What the hell is this piece of crap? Hmm. What a weird, interesting little weapon. Pole arms. What time? What, 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 um... Pole arms, I think, yeah, they come online about round 20. That's what I thought. The pole arms are also interesting. Uh, they tend to be a little quick. Uh, quickie... Oh, yeah. 2.5 speed? Fuck yeah, sign me up. Hell yeah. 2.5, two-hander? Oh, gimme, give gimme. Give and they're cheap, too. This is the crazy thing, right? Is these, um... These really fast two-handers that are actually really good for Paladin um, are cheap as, uh, as dirt. Look at this. It's like 8 gold, and that's on Season of Mastery. Or not Season of Mastery. Um, yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah. So, anyways. Moral of the story... Um, for Paladin, wear of the Eagle Gear, and, uh, try to find the fastest one-handed weapons possible. Remember your spell power ratios, the fact that things have armor, and, uh, you should be able to figure out what's good and what's not good. Um, you want the fastest weapons possible, you want to judge Crusader on the target, um, all that jazz, basically. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna end the video here, and, uh, Deus Volt, boys.